when you address the issues, the root causes of Boko Haram, you have to address the, um, the failure of democracy in most of West African countries, mm -hmm. Nigeria being a good example. Mm -hmm. um, Niger also yeah. suffering, you know, from its own lack of um, democracy and transparency. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, what happens is that the small person is always forgotten. Um, the big person, the orgas, as you yes. call them, yes. they are there and they are living very large. Yes, and people get very angry. Um, what do they do? You know, they then are drawn to these factors. Of course, we are not discounting the presence of ideology, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, of religion itself. Right. Um, as we saw in the video, one of the videos you just showed, um, the rise of Boko Haram also came as a result of kind of um, disruption within the Muslim community, you know, in that part of the country. Um, different groups, there was schisms and there was need for reform. Mm -hmm. So when people like um, Mohammed Yusuf came up mm -hmm. and tried to condemn other um, factions of Islam mm -hmm. and say that his own faction mm -hmm. was the purest mm -hmm. and the truest, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that also kind of points to that schism within um, the Muslim community um, in Nigeria. So there are all these factors that kind of led to the rise. But ultimately, um, Shekau came with his violent agenda mm -hmm. and then distorted the whole movement and it became just almost like a purely um, violent organization that attacked the police attack schools, try to destroy totally education and to kind of demoralize mm. the whole region mm. of, that, of that country. For what end, um, one might ask, you know, could be because of his own need for power. Interesting. Um, could be for political purposes for so many reasons. But this is the ultimate result.